Hi there, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music, welcome. If you're in the market for professional acoustic treatment for your home theater, project studio, home office, there's a good chance you've come across one of these two companies, GIK or JIC Acoustics and Prime Acoustic. Both of these companies make professional grade acoustic treatment to treat room modes, standing waves, reflections, and as it happens, both of those companies make products that are in use in my studio right now. And that's why I thought it would be interesting or hopefully helpful to make a video reviewing both products across a number of categories if you're struggling to make a decision to go with one or the other. I should say that I have panels from a couple different sets um, and categories of product from both companies. From Prime Acoustic, I have a London 12 kit. And I also have a, I think it's called Nimbus Cloud Kit just above me. And from GIK Acoustics, I have some absorber bass traps, four inch thick from their Impression series. Now, before I get into the video in earnest, I wanna say that I am not sponsored by either company. Everything that I have in this room, I paid for out of pocket. So the opinions are my own and they're very subjective, but I think informed. Um, so the categories that we'll be looking uh, at as we measure these two companies are as follows. The first is build quality. I have a little notebook here, build quality. So sturdiness, reliability, that kind of thing. The next up from that is ease of installation. Many people can make home, uh, you know, acoustic panels. In fact, I have like 18 bats of rock, so rock wool in my basement right now. But I choose to go this route because I don't have the time. I don't really probably have all the tools to commit to the project of building all those panels. So you want it to be really easy to install in your space. So that's the second category. The third is aesthetics. You want something that looks good. And we're going to talk about that. The fourth is going to be value for money. And the fifth and final one is going to be accessibility. And this just means accessibility in terms of how easy is it for me, and this is where it gets subjective, here in Canada, to get a hold of these panels? We're 16 months into COVID now. You would expect that both companies would be prepared to deliver and produce, um, especially in North America, perhaps all around the world, to make sure that everyone can you know, get a, a great room treatment for their podcast or whatever as a result of this new kind of world that we're living in. So those are the five categories. And I'll be announcing a winner and a loser, not really out of 10 or anything, winner and a loser, and also maybe a tie, we'll see. So why don't we just jump in? The first category is build quality. And honestly, I'm extremely impressed with both companies. I've had the Prime Acoustic panels for longer. You might've seen them elsewhere on the channel. Um, Prime Acoustic and GIK, with the products that I bought, both inside of those products, you have fiberglass. With GIK, you've got um, plating on the outside, which we'll talk more about in the aesthetic section. Uh, but for the most part, the guts of both of these products are you know, high grade, high quality fiberglass. And I've found that both do a really wonderful job of controlling room, room reflections and just keeping things in check. I will say that I have owned the Prime Acoustic panels for a little bit longer. And unfortunately, I've done a couple of moves now and the Prime Acoustic um, glue that they put on on the back has degraded somewhat. I blame myself more than Prime Acoustic for this. Um, I've been through a couple different spaces since I got them and I maybe have been a little, you know, less than careful throwing them around and stuff like that. So I won't let that factor into the build quality assessment, but I will say that both are impressive. And I'm almost going to say we have a tie here. They're sturdy. Um, they give you the impression that they were, you know, made with care. In fact, GIK does, uh, claim that their products are handmade. So that's kind of cool. Um, however, in that, uh, handmade kind of, uh, vibe, I did notice that when I was installing the panels on the GIK side that you see behind me, the ones that look like, you know, kind of grass or foresty or tiger stripes, whatever, they have a number of staples that go from left to right where you're meant to put in the brackets that you will then use to hang the panels. And on the brackets on the back, some of them are evenly spaced, allowing you to put the brackets in there. The staples, I mean, they're evenly spaced. On the other side, they're not evenly spaced. And so it's a bit difficult to 
be perfectly symmetrical as you're putting your you know your brackets on there to hang the thing but that just speaks i think to the handmade quality you have someone a human with a stapler going boom 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 across you know the border and the edge of the panel so i would say that honestly it's a tie and that's kind of what you want you want high quality because again anyone can make these themselves you've seen videos and stuff like that so when you buy them bespoke and made you expect them to be of high integrity component and quality wise and i have found that both GIK and Prime Acoustics are winners here. So it's honestly a bit of a tie for me. Okay, moving on to ease of installation. Again, we could make these ourselves, but when we order them and they're all pre-made, you'd expect that both companies are gonna make it as easy as possible for you, the person who's dropped a whole bunch of money on these things to install them. With Prime Acoustic, I got all the components that I needed for the, I think they're called Nimbus, they're the, or maybe Atlas, they're basically the, 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 the panels above me, the cloud ones. I got everything I needed, uh, easy anchors, um, these kind of thin, um, th you know, metal threads that you use to hang them with, installation instructions, the same thing for the uh, London 12 kit. I got everything for those, the clasps at the back, a huge easy anchor set uh, for the Broadway bass traps. I got uh, these cool jagged teeth things that stick out of the wall. Everything was ready to go. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for GIK. Perhaps it was a mistake on their end, but when I got my panels, I got no easy anchors at all, and you need easy anchors to put them into the wall. So that was kind of disappointing coming from Prime Acoustic. I also, and again, this might've been a mistake on their side, I got no instructions. And keep in mind, it's pretty simple when you go on the YouTube page or when you go on the website for GIK and learn how to install them because the instructions are there. Um, but still, you, you kind of want that look, piece of paper that says, thanks for buying our product, here's how to install them. So I didn't get everything I needed, I didn't get the easy anchors, I have a whole bunch from other projects, so luckily that was kind of taken care of. And I didn't get instructions, a piece of paper, which is great, because what you want to do is put it on the ground, leave it there, you know, none of the zooming in and out on your phone with two fingers. So I have to say, uncontroversially here, I think Prime Acoustic wins for um, ease of installation. Now both were, interesting in their own way to put up. I'd say the ceiling panels, the cloud panels I got from Prime Acoustic were um, almost enough to end my relationship with my fiance. And uh, I, I did not videotape that kind of portion of it because it would probably be used later in, in court uh, as evidence in some kind of civil suit uh, against each other because it was there was that much attention trying to put them up together. So it was tough. But um, I think if I had gotten all the components from GIK, I could have tied these guys, but really Prime Acoustic is the clear winner here for ease of installation. Thank you, Prime Acoustic. The third category, aesthetics. If this is gonna go in a home studio, you kind of want it to look nice and it has to pass, and this is a little bit sexist, but I've heard this online, the wife test. Let's just call this the partner test because it's 2021. And this just means that things have to look good. Um, putting a black column on your wall is not really the sexiest thing in the world. So you want something that has an aesthetic edge that looks nice on the eyes, especially if you're trying to establish maybe a vibe in your project studio. And panels, they're pretty generic and utilitarian looking, which is one of the reasons I think the clear winner in this category for me is GIK Acoustics. Their impression series is stunning. And not just the, you know, the ones that I bought, there was a whole bunch of different kinds of plaques that you could get, the the, the front wood facing ones. Uh, you get a whole bunch of different designs. They're all perforated and it's interesting and yet scientific way as well, they're meant to kind of diffuse things. Um, and you can choose different kind of uh, wood grains for them. And you can also uh, get very kind of colorful with the actual fabric that goes, in this case, underneath or behind the plaques. So I found that you know, having those panels behind me that you see there, I thought it would give an edge and a really cool kind of look and vibe to this studio. And I was really pleased to see all the other options they had on the website. So um, it's not just this one. I invite you to go to GIK's website. You can see all the different kind of mixing and matching plaque and fabric combinations there are. With Prime Acoustic, I think this is a great kind of push for them to maybe offer something that's a bit more exciting. I, I believe that Prime Acoustic does allow you to go in and get some kind of like, 
uh, screen printed fabric. Um, so it almost looks like you have a painting in your room, but it's actually an acoustic panel. I find them though to look a little bit cheesy if I'm being really honest and candid on this channel. Um, and so I decided to go with GIK and I'm very pleased with my decision to do that. But I think both companies here in this room offer a nice contrast between utilitarian panels and something a bit more kind of edgy and cool, but also very functional and scientifically accurate as a absorption uh, kind of technology. So. GIK is kind of the clear winner for me anyway in this room. Okay, the fourth category, value for money. Now, both of these companies offer, I'd say, reasonably comparatively priced products. I think GIKs are a little bit more expensive, but Prime Acoustics, they're both up there, right? It's going to be more expensive than if you were to make it yourself, and you can really cheaply. But again, the investment there is time, sourcing the materials and components and tools. So when I think of value for money, I'm wondering, I'm going to buy these. I hope they're well built, but I also hope that they can follow me around into different studios and still look good and still be easy to install and easy to put up and, and kind of modulate if I want. If I want to turn them around or whatever, they'll still look cool and everything. I found that in my experience with Prime Acoustic, they completely nailed this. Not only are they great right out of the box, but because they're a little bit more lightweight than the GIKs that I bought, I'm talking about the London 12 kit. To rearrange them and reorient them is really, really easy to do. And I don't have to use nails to stick them into the walls. And the Broadway panels, yes, you do those kind of um, base traps, but the thinner kind of, you know, half of the Broadway panels that you get as part of uh, that London 12 kit, I think you get about eight or maybe six. Those guys are light enough that you don't have to put a hole in the wall. You can just, um, use one of those GM, not GM, 3M sticky things, put it on the back of the plate and then hook it in. And then if you want, you can, you know, take it out and then put it in different, different orientation and move it around. And also the little kind of squares that you get are really great um, because you can move those into a bunch of different positions and arrange different kind of shapes on the wall and things like that. You can put them in an orientation such that they might be scattering or rejecting noise instead of just absorbing it. So there's a lot of kind of value there, I think, for that one-time purchase. You have the ability to move them and shift them around and stuff like that. Now, the GIKs are still really new to me, and you can, if you want, get rid of the brackets on the top two corners and move it to more of a landscape mode and then reorient them that way. So I think honestly, um, I'm very impressed with Prime Acoustic, but I'm, I think that GIK will be very versatile in a future space. So the value for the money, in my opinion, is there for both. And even though I talked about a little bit of wear and tear on the Prime Acoustic side with that glue, I could just go to Home Depot, re-glue it. The front of the panels still look really awesome. So I think, again, that's more my fault than anything. I would say that these two companies are tied in terms of value for money. Uh, in, in my books. Now, the last category, which is accessibility. And by this, I just mean how easy was it for me in Canada to get these panels? 16 months into COVID, uh, you'd think that most companies have adapted and make it pretty easy for you to get the things that you need. With Prime Acoustic, I'm lucky here in Ottawa. We have Studio Economique, which is in Montreal. They are an official reseller for the Prime Acoustic panels. And I think those guys are based out of the west side of Canada, Alberta, or maybe BC, I think. So it was super easy. I got the turnaround in about two days. There were no uh, shipping fees. It was all included and they arrived. I spoke with one of the reps. It was a really, really, really smooth process. I was very impressed, really happy. So with GIK, however, um, right away when I ordered the panels, uh, I, I waited a little while to get a response because I was asking about shipping and when I ordered them, I couldn't see in the fine print. I guess maybe they might have said they were back ordered or they were all uh, bespoke and made by hand. So it might take a little while, but that wasn't really clear to me as a, as a consumer going through this funnel. I didn't see that. I just purchased them and they said, awesome, your order's been logged. I was informed later that they would be delayed for about five weeks, I think. I think I ordered them beginning or mid-July and I was told I wouldn't get them until uh, around mid-August or August 6th or something like that. Um, actually, no, mid-August. So I emailed the rep and said, listen, I need these now for projects that I have coming up. And if it's going to take like a month and a half or a month, I'm going to have to pursue a refund. And they were very kind. And they said, you know what, we'll put a double rush on them. And sure enough, they got them to me really quickly. However, there is about $140 of shipping on top of that. And that's because these guys are coming from, I think, Atlanta, Georgia. And 
that's kind of disappointing uh, that there's no voice or presence for them uh, as a reseller here in Canada. So I had to pay shipping and there's going to be an extra cost, like a cash on delivery cost because it's ground shipping. And I have yet to be invoiced for that. So unfortunately you have the shipping and then there's going to be another bill. I don't know what it's going to be in Canada post. Couldn't tell me what it was going to be or FedEx or whoever was handling the transfer across the border. So I have to say accessibility for me as a Canadian here is going to be prime acoustic. If I need more treatment for this room, I do plan to get the corners kind of treated. I'm probably going to go with prime acoustic just because it's really difficult to get GIK, even though I do want to support them. And I think they have, aesthetically more attractive products than uh, Prime Acoustic does. So that's kind of my verdict across those five different categories. And I do want to say one more thing. You might be wondering, why didn't Jeff do, you know, how well do they absorb this or that or whatever? And the truth is, when it comes to panels and stuff, honestly, it's quantity over quality. If you have nothing in your room, it's going to sound like garbage. You don't need a Prime Acoustic or GIK Acoustic set. You could build them your own. You could put a couch in here and maybe some blackout curtains and some hoodies and stuff, and that'll do a pretty good job of, of you know absorbing sound. You can go to Amazon and get them. So again, I didn't want to do this huge shootout and measure like Sabin and like absorption coefficients and all that stuff. I didn't think it was worth it. Quality I think is inferior to quantity and quantity of anything when you're going to kind of blanket your room and get stuff up. And by blanket, I, you put a duvet. I'm pretty sure Drake recorded like most of, I think it's Marvin's room in a closet at the Hyatt with like, you know, a duvet over like a TLM 103. So really it's, it's, it's about, if you have the budget for this, go for it. Um, and if you don't, you can make stuff at home. Anything is going to go a long way. Even like moving, you know, blankets and stuff goes a long way to treat your room. I just happen to be in a position in my life where I don't have the time, but I do have the capital to send some money uh, to these companies to get them uh, to send me some panels. And that's kind of what I did. So I hope this was informative and helpful for you. If I have helped you make up your mind, please let me know. If you have additional questions, let me know if you want me to upload more footage or send photos or anything like that. Please let me know too. And the last thing I'll say is go to your neighborhood Kijiji or Craigslist. There are people who make acoustic panels or have them usually in smoke-free environments that want to get them off their chest too, because they're at a point where maybe music isn't as important to them or they're downsizing. So you can find them there too. If you don't want to make them yourself and if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money uh, at one of these companies, um, you know, that, that, that do them, there's a lot of people probably in your community that have them and would love for you to drive up and get them off of, uh, off of their hands. So anyway, but do leave me comments, questions I answer. And while well, I look at all of them, answer most of them, um, wondering if this was helpful and if more videos like this is something that you'd want to see. I'm trying to branch out from sample libraries and talk a little bit more about hardware and this room and how it's coming together. So thank you for being here as long as you have been, if you've made it all the way to the end. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.